eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Left off. Now passing 10 seconds into flight. R68 chamber pressure looks good. Seeing good chamber pressure across all four SRMs. Nice symmetric burn. Now 20 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the RS-68A engine. Now coming up on 30 seconds. 34 seconds into flight, Mach 1 Delta 4 is now supersonic. SRM chamber pressure has tailed off from the max pressure as expected. Continue to see good uh, engine performance on the RS-68 engine. Delta is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Now 55 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the RS-60A engine. Good performance on all four SRMs. Nice symmetric burn. Now one minute, five seconds into flight. About 30 seconds remaining until SRM burnout. Now passing one minute, 15 seconds into flight. Continue to see good performance on the main engine. And standing by for SRM burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all four SRMs standing by for jettison. And we have good indication of jettison of all four solid rocket motors. Main engine continuing to perform well. Chamber pressure looks good. Now passing one minute, 50 seconds into flight. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. The Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight, burning propellant at a rate of almost 2,000 pounds per second. Now two minutes into flight, the second stage ACS system press valve has been opened. System pressure response looks good. And seeing good body rates on the Delta IV as it transitioned to closed loop guidance. Main engine continuing to perform well. Engine parameters look good. Now two minutes, 18 seconds into flight. Launch vehicle is now 46 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,400 miles per hour. Continue to see good performance on the main engine, passing 2 minutes, 35 seconds into flight. And body rates have uh, nulled out now, 2 minutes, 45 seconds in. And the upper stage lock system has begun the boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the RL-10 engine. Now 2 minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Approximately 20 seconds remaining until booster begins to throttle down in preparation for BECO, continuing to see good um, chamber pressure on the RS-68A engine. Now 3 minutes 40 seconds into flight, standing by for booster throttle down momentarily. And booster is now throttling down in preparation for BECO, standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. Nozzle extension is deploying. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition. And we have ignition on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. This is the first burn of today's mission. This first burn will last approximately 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Now, min now passing 4 minutes, 30 seconds into flight. RL-10 chamber pressure continues to look good. Body rates, uh, seeing a small adjustment in body rates as expected. And we are beginning to see some thrust thruster cycling as expected as the uh, line temps warm up to bottle temperatures.
Continue to see good performance on the RL-10. Now five minutes into flight. Now passing 5 minutes 30 seconds, approximately 14 minutes remaining in the burn. RL-10 continue to perform well in this first burn. Uh, continuing to see periodic thruster firing as expected, and uh, line temperatures on the ACS system have reached close to bottle temperatures. And continuing to see good body rates on the uh, second stage. Now passing six minutes into flight. And after a quick review of booster performance, uh, we are indicating that the booster performed near nominal. Launch vehicle is now 200 miles in altitude, 705 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,650 miles per hour. Now six minutes, 40 seconds into flight. Now passing 7 minutes 30 seconds into flight, approximately 12 minutes remaining in the burn. RL-10 engine operating parameters continue to look good throughout this first burn and uh, continue to see good body rates on the second stage. And the attitude control system line temperatures have reached bottle temperatures. Uh, thruster firing has reduced in frequency uh, as expected. Now passing eight minutes into flight. And vehicle trajectory continues right down the middle of the range track. Launch vehicle is now 245 miles in altitude, 1,090 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,300 miles per hour. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good on the RL-10. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff.